Hi everybody, welcome to GT Coding. In this series, we are designing the Apple navigation menu. We have already designed the menu items and in the previous video, we saw how to design the search form and also the quick links. Now in this video, I'll show you how to add the animation. So if you go to the Apple website, we can see these are the menu items. And if you click on the search button, we can see there is an animation and the search form and the quick links are displayed. And when we click on this close button, we have the animation. Now there are multiple animations over here. So for each of these menu items, uh, we have an animation where the opacity is changing to zero and also the size is decreasing. So let's click on this once more. And we can see the animation for the menu items. And for the search form and the quick links, we have an animation where they are fading in from the right. So these are all the animations that we need to add to our navigation menu. So let's get started. First of all, let's remove the inline style that we added to our menu items. So here for the nav, we have added this style display of none. So let's remove it. Now there's a problem with this search container. It has moved down. We want it to be positioned at the top. So let's go to our style.css and let's go to the search container styles. So here we have set the position to relative. Let's set it to fixed and let's set the top position to zero. And to bring it to the center, we'll type left zero and right zero. Right now, we don't have any problems. Now, we have already added some styles for the search container hide. So if you have the hide class in the search container, it will not be displayed. So let's go back to our index.html file and let's add the hide class because by default, the search container won't be displayed. So let's type hide over here. So this is how the navigation menu will be displayed at the beginning. And when we click on the search button, we want to display the search container. And we also want to hide these menu items when we click on the search icon. So for that, we'll be adding a class called hide for this uh, desktop nav. So let's add the styles for that. So I'll just type hide over here. And let's go to our style.css. And let's scroll to the bottom and uh, we'll create a comment desktop nav animation. So here we'll type desktop nav dot hide li. So here we can see Inside the desktop nav, we have these allies. So we will set the opacity of all the allies to zero. So let's type opacity zero. And we'll also set the pointer events to none. Now we can see that the list items are not being displayed. And when we remove the hide class, we can see that they are being displayed. All right, now let's add some JavaScript to make all this work. So we have to reference some of these elements from the HTML inside the JavaScript. So first of all, we have to reference the search button and then we also want to reference the close button inside the search form. And then we also want to reference the desktop nav because we want to add and remove the hide class. And then the next thing we need to reference is the search container. So here also we have this hide class, which we will be adding and removing using JavaScript. And the last thing we need to reference is the overlay. So we have this class called show. So we want to add and remove that. So let's reference all of these in our JavaScript. And we have already linked our main.js file over here in the HTML. So let's go to the main.js file and uh, let's create a constant. And uh, we will name it search button. And we'll type document.query selector. And uh, let's go back to our HTML and see how to reference the search button. So it is inside the nav. And inside the desktop nav, we have this. Uh, anchor tag with the class of link search. So let's reference that. So here we have to type nav desktop nav link search. So this will store the search icon inside the search button constant. Let's create another constant for the close button. So we'll just type const close button equals document dot query selector. And let's see how to reference the close button. So if we scroll down, we can see we have the search container division and in that we have the link close division. So this is the close button. So let's reference that. So we'll type search container link close. And then the next thing we will reference is the desktop nav. So this you uh, will write here. So let's type const desktop nav equals document dot query selector desktop nav and we'll also reference the search container. So I'll just type search container equals document dot query selector. 
search container and the last thing we need to reference is the overlay so we'll just type const overlay equals document dot query selector and overlay all right now let's add an event listener to the search button so i'll just type search button add event listener and we will type click over here now when we add an event listener it will check for an event and uh, when we have the click event on this search button it will execute the code that we have in our function so let's create an arrow function over here when we click on the search button we want to add the hide class to the desktop nav so let's type desktop nav dot class list dot add and we'll type hide over here and then we want to remove the hide class from the search container so let's type search container class list dot remove and we'll type hide and then we also need to add a show class to the overlay so let's type overlay dot class list dot add and we'll type show and we don't want to have the show class inside the overlay by default so let's remove it from here all right now let's test it so let's click on the search button and we can see that the desktop now has been hidden and we have the search container displayed over here and now let's add the event listener to the close button so let's go back to our main.js and uh, it is almost the same as this code so let's copy this and paste it down here and we'll change search button to close button and uh, we want to remove the hide class from the desktop now so i'll just type remove instead of add over here and for the search container we want to add the hide class so i'll just type add over here and from the overlay we want to remove the show class so i'll just type remove over here now let's test it out so let's click on the search button and we have the search container displayed over here and let's click on the close button and we can see that the menu items are being displayed over here so everything is working all right now in the apple website we can see that when we click on the search icon and if we click somewhere outside the search container the now menu items are being displayed once more so for that we can add an event listener to the overlay so we'll just copy this and paste it down here and here i'll just type overlay all right now let's test it out so let's click on the search button and we have the search container displayed over here and if you click outside the search container it goes back to the menu items all right now let's go back to our css and add some animation so right now the buttons are working all right now let's add some transition to the desktop nav so i'll just access that so i'll just type desktop nav li and here i'll just type transition of all to 400 milliseconds and for the easing function i'll just type ease now let's click on the search button and we can see that we have a smooth transition between the two states and uh, when we click on the search button we also want to decrease the size of these elements so here we can see the size is decreasing so here we will type transform scale and we'll set the scale to 0 0.8 and now let's test it out and now we can see that it is scaling down let's also add a smooth transition to the overlay so here we will add a comment i just type overlay animation and uh, here we'll just type overlay and here we'll type transition of all to 400 milliseconds is all right now let's click on the search button and uh, we have the transition for the overlay now the next thing we need to do is we need to add some animation delay for each of these individual menu items so if you go back to the apple website and if you click on the search button the last element over here has the animation first and uh, then we have some delay and then we have the animation for the search button and then for this element and then for the previous element and so on so let's click on this search button so we can see we have a little bit of delay between each of these menu items so let's add the delay to our animation so let's go back to our style or css and uh, here we'll just add a comment so here we'll just type navigation menu items transition delay now we can select specific list items using the nth of type selector so for example if i type desktop nav li colon nth of type and if i type 10 over here because we have 10 elements over here and here if i'll type transition delay and let's set a transition delay of 1000 milliseconds now let's click on the search button 
and we can see that we have a transition delay of 1000 for the last element. So in this way we have to select each of these elements and add different transition delays. Now we can add transition delays based on whether we have the hide class for the desktop nav or not. So let's type desktop nav dot hide li nth of type and let's type 10 over here and if I type transition delay to 0 milliseconds over here and we can see that we don't have any transition delay at the beginning but when we click on the close button we have a transition delay of 1000 milliseconds. So with this knowledge let's go ahead and add different transition delays to all the list items. So let me just delete all of this and let's type 1 over here and if you go back to the Apple website when we click on the search button the last element has the transition delay of 0 and when we click on the close button the first element has the transition delay of 0. So we have to keep that in mind when we add the transition delay. So let me give an example of how we can do that. So here we can see we have selected the first element when the desktop nav doesn't have the hide class and we'll add a comma and we'll type desktop nav dot hide and we'll type li nth of type 10. Now we can see that we are selecting two elements, the first element and the last element. So the first element of the desktop nav with no hide class and the last element of the desktop nav with the hide class. So let's add a transition delay of zero for the first element and in the same way for the last element of the hide class we have a transition delay of zero and we will do the same with all the 10 elements. So let's copy this and let's paste it down here and here we will type element 2 and uh, here we will type 9 and here we will set a transition delay of 30 milliseconds and let's copy this and paste it once more and here we will type 3 and uh, here we will type 8 and here we will add a transition delay of 60 milliseconds. So the next element is the fourth element. So let's type 4 over here. And uh, this is going to be the seventh element. And let's add the transition delay of 30. So here it will be 90 milliseconds. And uh, in this way we will add the transition delay for all the other elements. So I just fast forward the process. Right, so I have added the transition delay for all the elements. Now let's test it out. So let's click on the search button and we have the transition delay and everything is working all right. Now let's add the animation to the search form. So when we click on the search button, the search form is fading from the right to the left and we have a little bit of delay for the search form to appear. So let's add that over here in the CSS. So let's add a comment over here and we'll type search container animation. So let's type search container form and also search container link search and by default we have the hide class for the search container so let's add some styles for that. So let's type search container dot hide form and also search container dot hide link search and at the beginning we will have the opacity set to zero and uh, we will also move it to the right a little bit. So let's type transform translate x. We will set it to 50 pixels. And now let's add the styles over here to the search container form. So here we'll type opacity and we'll set it to 1. And we'll set the transform translate x to 0. So now it will fade in from the right to the left. And we also want to have a transition delay. So let's type transition delay and let's set it to 300 milliseconds. And we'll also add a smooth transition. So I'll just type transition of all to 400 milliseconds ease. All right, now let's test it out. And we can see that the search form is being displayed. And we also have the animation. And uh, let's reduce the opacity of the search button a little bit. So here we'll just type search container link search. And we'll type opacity to... 0.6 All right, now the next thing we will do is add the animation to the close button. Now we want it to appear a little late so if you go to the Apple website and let's click on the search button and we can see that the close button is displayed a little late. So let's add some animation for that. So let's type search container dot hide link close 
and uh, let's set the opacity to zero at the beginning and uh, let's type search container link close and here we'll set the opacity to 0 0.5 and let's type transition and uh, we will set a transition of all to 400 milliseconds and ease and let's set a transition delay of 400 milliseconds All right now let's see whether we have the animation for the close button So we can see that everything is working all right. All right, now let's add the animation to the quick links heading. So for the heading, we have an animation where it fades in from the right. So we have the same animation as the form, but we have different transition delays for each of these elements. So let's add the animation for that. So let's type search container dot hide quick links h2. And at the beginning, we will have the opacity set to zero. And we'll also move it to the right a little bit. So let's type transform, translate X, and we'll set it to 50 pixels. Right now let's type search container, quick links H2. So this is without the hide class. So let's type opacity to one and transform, translate X to zero. And let's add a smooth transition. So I'll just type transition and uh, we'll set it to all 400 milliseconds ease. And we'll add a transition delay of 100 milliseconds. So let's test it out. So the animation is working all right. Now let's add the animation to all these list items. So let's type search container dot hide quick links ULLI. And let's set the transform to translate X. And we'll add 60 pixels over here and also the opacity will set it to zero. And now let's type search container without the hide class, quick links ULLI, and let's type opacity of one and transform translate X to zero. And let's add a transition. So I'll just type transition of all to 400 milliseconds is. Now we need to add different transition delays for each of these list items. Now we can do that just like we did with the menu items. So let's type search container, quick links ULLI, colon nth of type and let's type one over here. So for the first element, we will have a transition delay of 120 milliseconds. And let's just copy this. And we have five elements. So let's copy this four more times. So for the second element, we will have a transition delay of 140 milliseconds. And for the third one, we will have a transition delay of 160 milliseconds. And for the fourth one, we will have a transition delay of 180 milliseconds. And for the last one, we will have a transition delay of 200 milliseconds. All right, now let's test it out. And we can see that the animation is working all right. We don't have any problems with any of the animation. So that's it with the animation of uh, the search container and also the menu items. Alright, so that's it for this video. From the next video, we will start designing the mobile version of this website. So if you have any doubts, you can ask in the comments below. And if you like this video, please click on the like button and subscribe to this channel to get the latest video updates. Thanks a lot for watching. Have a nice day.